So now we have proven that uh, on the side is flat and um, then I will of course try the surfaces here in relation to the other side. I've tried to to um, to do a measurement uh, so that I did not end up with a well, crooked surface I mean with respect to the machine surfaces here but since these are more worn it's hard to to keep up do that correctly. For this measurement there must be a million ways to to do it either on a on a uh, surface plate like this and um, and uh, trying the the surfaces or I also tried on the um, on a rotating table directly on the milling machine but anyway one way so I'll try here if this that way that way this way and this way is somehow indicating whether or not I have a flat in in relation to the surface here but since this, are, this is worn it's a little bit of a detective work to find tried here and here but there is no bore here to relate to everything can be worn so but if I get it within uh, hundreds of a millimeter I guess that's within reason it's half a half a tau or so that should be okay enough I don't know if it's ever been that accurate either I read zero here on points uh, say half way in and this is minus half or one hundredth of a millimeter off so pretty okay uh, what I see however is that the surfaces they drop towards the outer edges so I take that as wear that's equally so so a little bit sloped upwards to the middle so these are the numbers I get the most deviation is here minus two and three respectively and one one but I have plus on the other side and zero there so I don't think that I have uh, somehow um, made the, the surfaces underneath here um, not in plane. I think it's where I can investigate a little bit more, but seems to be so plus one, zero, one. So it's more or less within one exception of these two. The so having established the uh, amount of wear here um, the difference I can scrape down straight down to the plate here and I think without any big difficulties uh, keep it at the minimum of course this this and this surface and um, to verify that I have it in plane or so to speak I can invert it like that and the surface in the middle here course uh, the the error uh, to which this is out of flatness with the or plane with the um, with the base here will be magnified because of the this is much smaller of course so I will be able to see it very clearly if it's out by measuring on the extremities here so uh, I think that should go okay so I will also have to check this to the ways we can call them here uh, it's, uh, to verify the same here this is flat and as I see uh, there is no guidance here at the periphery there's only this so but still I want to make sure that of course the original geometry was there so I won't scrape the base that fits in here if I have to, if I don't need to. And uh, pay attention when I measure here at the outer periphery. At least if you look at the needle here, it is close to zero. I can see at least it's uh, from directly above it's zero. But if I push it here all the way in, see there is a ridge that it it's riding on 
so this can of course uh, fool you so um, I think I'll dig a I will dig a um, <clears throat> kind of a groove at the very corner here just to be certain not that that pay uh, is of any real importance but just so I don't uh, measure wrong there is a couple of marks here I mean first a hacksaw mark or something here and then uh, some uh, here for instance might be someone having a milling cutter down here or uh, something uh, I could do something with that of course but I think uh, then uh, since this is on the sides I have to actually weld it up which of course risks distortion of the whole thing the benefit would be i think in my eyes more or less cosmetic this wouldn't do any or isn't doing anything uh, accuracy wise or support so i could easily then just fill it up with some softer material afterwards just for the sake of having it look good we'll see and now i can uh, run the indicator of course here and then just test that this is flat length here and here to the plate and also then I can test this afterwards that it remains 90 degrees and yeah and square now let's get sticky means that this has good surface contact and um, then we have to try here if it is flat so I want it flat within hundreds of a millimeter it's a little shy here Otherwise, not so bad. So we'll work on it a little bit more, but it's coming along good. <clears throat> 